Hi everybody, I got on here to do my TBR for the Escape Through 24 and 48 hour readathon and its host is Escaping Through Novels. Rylan has put in her uh, prompts on the Discord and I had written them down on an envelope so that I could write my TBR books down with them. But I have less than 300 pages, November 9. I do not know because I have not gotten the copy from my library. And I am buddy reading that with Rylan and a couple other people in the group chat for dis on Discord. So if you want to join, I can leave it all down below her channel. And then you can go to her Discord or download Discord and, you know, go through that way. I don't know how that works. That's how I did it. I went through her channel and Play Store, Discord, created my page, and I got on there, and I joined. So if that's what you want to do, then go jump right onto that. But for less than 300 pages, I have November 9, and if that is not less than 300 pages, then I will be finishing... Um, I had to write a book that's less than 300 pages, I guess, because, you know, the books that I have here are above 300 pages. Wait, maybe not. Let me see. Okay, so we're going to, like, do this in the prompt because, you know, the push... I have not read, and if num November 9 is not, oh, it's by Colleen Hoover, if it is not less than 300 pages, then I'm going to read The Push. The Push is 303 pages, but, I mean, it's only 300 pages, so it's not going to do much. They got, like, really short chapters in this. They're, like, two pages per chapter, so I'll be reading The Push. And then a book you've been putting off, which I started it already. It's Local Woman Missing by Mary Kubek. I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name, but Riley Sager blurbed it. So I am our only 20, 25 pages into it. I started this today so I could get a little head start because my TBR is like really big. It's really ambitious. We're just going to say that. And then for Out of Your Comfort Zone, my husband picked this one out for me because, you know, I always pick things that are in my comfort zone. If you hear that, my son is being fussy, so just give me a second but as I was saying, my husband picked out this book for me because I always pick out books that are in my comfort zone. For some reason, I cannot pick a book that's out of my comfort zone. I have tried, and it just does not work. But he knows I have a couple of these books on my shelf by this author, but I've never read her. And I'm hoping that this will put me into wanting to read her. It's The Storyteller by Jodi Picoult. It's a long one. It's almost 500 pages. So, that is the reason that I had started Local Woman Missing. Because I know for the readathon, I'm only going to be able to read so much. Because, like I said, I have my son. And it's, like, very difficult to read with a five-month-old. So, he is not the best waiting person ever. And then I have a pretty a book with a pretty cover. I was going to do Four Dead Queens by Astrid. I don't want to butcher your last name. Yeah, it got ruined. Okay, don't judge that. Well, I got like that much into it, and I was like, I don't get this. Like, it's a fantasy. I don't want to push myself to read. Something that it doesn't pique my interest within the first couple of pages. I'm like, mm, just not the right time. 
So then I ended up picking up The Glass Forest by Cynthia, Cynthia Swanson. And it is a fiction. I don't know if it is a thriller what it is by the chapter headings like it's some of them are going back in time like 1942 to 1944 but I thought this was a really good one I don't know if Cynthia Swanson is related to Peter Swanson and if so I'm all for it because I loved his books so I'm gonna pick this one up um one of the blurbs says, A haunting post-war tale of secrets, manipulation, and lost innocence. Swanson turns traditional family relationships upside down to reveal the darkness that lies beneath. So, I think it may be a thriller, but I'm all for that one. But I just wanted to get on here and do the little TBR to let everybody know what I was reading for it. I may be ambitious and, like, read some books on my Kindle if I want to, but if not, then I will just stick to my TBR, which I have to still add um, November 9, but this is just the TBR until I get November 9, and then when I get November 9, I'll probably be starting that whenever right. Rylan? I want to say her name is Rylan, but I think it's Raylan. Raylan, I'm sorry if, if I'm, like, pronouncing your name wrong. Whenever she decides that she's going to start that for the buddy read. So, if you guys, like I said, want to join, I'll link her channel down below. Her Discord's on the channel that she does the video for Escaping, Escape for 24 Hour Readathon. So if you want to join, go ahead and join. I join, and I'm really excited to read these. But I'm going to get off here, take care of my son, and probably pick up some more of Local Woman Missing because it's it's really good. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I really like this book so far. I read, like, 25 pages this morning when my husband was sleeping. So I'm going to jump back into that and read some more of that when my son decides that he wants to play or something other than be fussy. So, I will see you guys on at the readathon, and hopefully I can vlog. If not, I'll put my Instagram link down below, because that's where I'll be posting photos of what I've been reading. I don't know if my husband's off for the weekend, and if he is, then I probably won't be filming, vlogging. I don't know. We'll see how far that goes, but if... I do, then I do. If I don't, it won't be on my channel. So, hope you guys liked today's video, and I'll get back to you later.